Okay, part two. The last video got cut off. Where we the last part we did uh, was uh, we went to, from the slid door B C sharp hammered on the D back to C sharp uh, B C sharp. So if you didn't catch that, go back to intro solo part one for that because uh, we're going to go to the next part here now. So after we finish that part, let me just show you where we have all together. We had one and a two, three, four, one and a two. Crazy one, one, and a two, and two, three, four, and I'm not sure I said in the other video, but that B, when we do that A to B slide, starts on B4. It's four and a one, and then that C sharp ends up being on one, and then we had the B, C sharp this time, that started on B3. Uh, we hit the D on beat 4, 4 E, and to that A, and I'm not even sure I said that in the first part of the video, but the very last part of that is going B, C sharp, A, so we had B, whoops, so hopefully that's clear, now that I kind of forget what I did the first video, anyway, uh, after that's over, uh, we're going to come all the way up here to uh, 14th position, and we're going to uh, rake uh, a B minor arpeggio. Uh, this is actually a really important arpeggio to know, and, a, and a, I mean, a good thing to practice, regardless of this solo or not. But basically, it's built around this B minor chord back here, which some of you may recognize as your open A minor, which quite often we play with fingers 1, 2, 3, but here I'm going to play it with 2, 3, 4, A minor. I slide it up a whole step, my first finger becomes the nut, like I move the nut, and I have a B minor. I'm playing strings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm not playing 6 for that B minor. Uh, so we're taking that chord form, essentially, but we don't need the low B, so we're going to put the first finger just to the second fret of the first string. We're taking that shape, that's a B minor chord, and we're moving it up one octave, so it's taking us to the 14th fret. So the dot that was back here on the 3rd fret, which was our 2nd finger, is now the dot on the 15th fret. And that's B minor one octave higher. And we're raking it. Our pick is going down, 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 down across the string. It's called a rake. Uh, you can call it a sweep. We're going to talk in just a minute when we get to the end of this little soul section about sweeping a bit and um, some of the uh, common misunderstandings about sweep picking. Anyway, we're raking this. We're going down, 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 starting on the end of beat three. So when the end of that other solo, or the other half, I don't know what I just played there. That I had nothing to do. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, after the other guitar goes... And then the riff starts all over again, right? We're going to count to three, and we're going to go on the and of beat three to this rake. So it's going to go one, two, three. And we're going to rake, rake that pick across strings four, three, two, one to that F sharp. And so it's going one, uh, one and two and three on the and of beat three. One, two, three. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, and then after we hit this F sharp, we're going to move the pinky all the way to the 19th fret for a high B. So we said it was a B minor chord. And basically this F sharp on the top is, is being hit, for the most part, on the end of beat 3. But the rake kind of counts for something too. But the rakes are so short, we usually don't give them any actual value. Like we don't try to count it. It's so quick. But this F sharp will be on the end of 3. 1, 2, 3, and and a three, and then that puts this B right on beat four. All right? And the rake, you just have to work on slow, and before you know it, it'll be clean as, a, as you know, as Hammett plays it or whatever. Okay, then we come back to the uh, 17th fret for an A with our pinky. We're going to put our second finger on the 15th fret for a G. We're going to pull off that A to the G. Then we're going to pick F sharp on the 14th fret. And then back up to the G, we're also picking that. So A, the 17th fret, pulling off to the 15th fret, A to G. These are 16th notes, right on beat one. One, E, and a. Uh, we're picking the F sharp and the G. And then our first finger is going to drop to the 15th fret of our B string for a D, on right on beat two. One, E, and a, uh, two. So just four 16th notes, D landing on beat two. One, E, and a, uh, two, three, four. You're going to hold that all the way into the measure. You're going to come back to the 7th fret of your G string. You're going to pull off to the C sharp, so drop both fingers in, and then pick the D again. Right on the 
and a beat one. One and a two. Then we're going to move up. E on the ninth fret, D on the seventh fret. Fingers three and one. This is all on the third string. And that one's going to fall uh, also on, no, that one will fall right on beat three. So it's going to go one and a two, three, E, and. So very much like the beginning when we did our, which fell on the end of one and on beat three. So one and a two, whoops, one and a two, three, E, and. And then we're going to go F sharp here. 11th fret, back to the 9th fret, same thing on all of these, you pick, pull off, pick, pick, pull off, pick, pick, pull off, pick, then we're going to pick the F sharp one more time right on the beat 1 of the next measure, oh no, sorry, that last one we just hit was on beat 1, then we're going to pick it again and slide quickly to G, hit the G one more time, that's the 12th fret of your G string, and come back to that F sharp, so we have 1, that up a half step, drop the first finger in to give us a bar, it's an F minor chord, hold step to G minor, hold step to A minor, hold step to B minor. It's basically that, but we're just going to look after strings 1, 2, 3, 4, so we don't have to bar the whole thing. First finger is covering strings 1, 2, 3, your third finger is on the ninth fret for the B. And we're going to go starting right on the and of beat 1, we're going to down pick these, uh, strings 4, 3, 2, B, D, F sharp, then up pick the G on the 8th fret, and then down pick the D on the 10th of that B string, of the 2nd string. So we're kind of sweeping across these, again very similar to the rake, a rake sweep, kind of the same thing. Sometimes people misunderstand, like when they think of sweeps, they think of big, you know, where the pick is uh, sweeping across all the strings constantly, but anytime you drag your pick across two strings or more, the downstroke, it's technically a sweep. You're, you're sweeping across the strings. That's where the name came from. As opposed to alternate picking where you would go down, up, down. You're just going down, down, down. Uh, sometimes we refer to a rake if they're done really quickly uh, or a sweep, but just some, there's a lot of confusion it seems online about sweeping and who does and who can't sweep and whatever. But anyway, um, so we're going to go B, D, F sharp. That's our B minor chord we said. First finger barring across the seventh fret. One, two, three. Third finger on the ninth fret. We're going strings four, three, two. I'm playing them all down. You could alternate if you want. Down, up, down. But I go down, down, down. Up on that G with my second finger. Down the A. Starting right on the and to beat one again. One, and the two, beat and. And there's sixteenth notes. One. Then I'm going to do it again starting on beat three. But this time... Instead of going to the A, I'm going to go to B, the, the seventh fret of my high E string. But it's the same line. So I first one I went, and then neat, and I'm picking it the same way. Down, 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 then up on that G, back down on this B. Then the last one, we go, uh, it's the same as the first one again, except this time we go B, D, F sharp, all the way to the B, so we don't drop our second finger in. And that's starting on the and of four. Four, and a two, and. We'll hit this B again, hammer on the D, or the C sharp, sorry, the whole step to the ninth, ninth fret. Slide up to the D on the 10th, that'll put us right on beat 2. Slide to the 12th, then come back to 10, and we're going to go 10, 